So the new football season starts on a fine afternoon here at Wembley with Arsenal and Liverpool meeting inside this stadium for the first time since 1971 when Arsenal beat Liverpool in the FA Cup final. Now Arsenal on the far side are cup holders again, led out by their captain Pat Rice, while Liverpool are led out nearest the camera by Phil Thompson, the new captain succeeding Emlyn Hughes and therefore leading his club out at Wembley for the first time. Followed by Ray Clements, the England goalkeeper, also very familiar with this stadium, and indeed Pat Jennings on the far side, he is too. Kenny Dalglish just signalling to the Liverpool fans, who are in fact situated at the far end of the stadium, from the players' tunnel. Indeed, Wembley has predicted a record attendance this afternoon for the Charity Shield, the previous best, 82,000, two years ago, and the Arsenal fans again congregated, as they were on Cup final day, at the players' tunnel end. They're wearing the yellow shirts again today, Arsenal, having lost the toss, hence the yellow flags that we saw on Cup final afternoon. And the red of course, belongs to Liverpool, whose fans are at the far end of the stadium from the tunnel where the Manchester United clan was gathered in May. So now the team news, and it's very much as you were on both sides. Arsenal fielding 11 of the 12 men who won the FA Cup. The absentee is Willie Young, who has a slight injury, although he is among the subs. Steve Walford wears number six. He came on as substitute during the FA Cup final towards the end. But Arsenal with the 4-4-2 formation, basically, which was successful last season. And the Liverpool manager, Bob Paisley, sticks to the team that clinched the championship with the record 68 points. Also a 4-4-2 lineup, and those names obviously ring fear around the rest of the first division, because Liverpool look formidable even on the team caption. The two number sevens present an interesting contrast at the start of this new season. Liam Brady of Arsenal had a hand in all three goals in the FA Cup final and was voted the player of the year by his fellow professionals. While the football writer's choice as the footballer of the year was Kenny Dalglish of Liverpool, who since he joined the club two years ago, making his debut, by the way, for them in the charity shield against Manchester United, has yet to miss a match. summer weather, meaning that Bob Paisley can discard the jacket. Among his substitutes this afternoon will be one of his new signings, A.B. Cohen from Israel, among the Liverpool five. Indeed, uh, Frank McGarvey, the other newcomer from St Mirren, can't even get a place on the bench today. That's how good the Liverpool squad is. And as you can see among the Arsenal substitutes, John Hollins, number 12, who was signed from Queen's Park Rangers during the summer. The referee is George Courtney from County Durham, one of our senior panel of FIFA referees, one of the top four. And Arsenal to kick off. Just for a moment, it's almost like cup final day all over again. Brian Talbot to Liam Brady. Arsenal playing left to right. Sammy Nelson, Phil Neal who slipped, Stapleton to Brady. And the tackle coming in from Terry McDermott. Now, I wonder if he's going to shadow Brady. And vice versa, perhaps, too, when McDermott breaks. Stapleton. This time it's Case who got back. O'Leary and Johnson. Oh, and Johnson has got through here against O'Leary. Good recovery by the centre-half, helped out by Walford. O'Leary was just caught cold for a second by the pace of David Johnson. Stapleton, good flick to Sunderland. Talbot to Ricks. to Alan Kennedy. 
Here's Ray Kennedy. That was a good ball from Hansen to Johnson. Walford. Sunis. Number 11 for Liverpool. That's a good ball. It's Phil Neal who saw what was on and found McDermott. Here's Neal again. Stapleton got back. Now it's Ricks. Nelson. Ricks. Sometimes players and managers try to play this match down, but the fans won't let them do this this afternoon. There's a fine atmosphere inside Wembley. Lots of reputations are at stake. O'Leary's head up. Neil. McDermott running and Brady trying to track him back. Dalglish is in there on the near post. Dangerous. Johnson! Oh, what a miss! The first chance, and it was created for Johnson by Ken Dalglish. One of his favourite positions, that. On the near post side of the penalty area and pulled the ball back, and Johnson, who had to take it on the volley, not always easy, even at point-blank range, skied his shot. looking for Sunderland, that was Hansen's header, here's Brady. Picks out Rice. Talbot and Price both down this side as well, that's Price. Foul by Hansen. Rice, here's Brady again. Both teams have been abroad pre-season. Both have done well also. Liverpool in Germany, in Denmark. Arsenal have played in a tournament in Holland. That's Brady. Well, that was well won by Sunis, and he's got two to his right. Jimmy Case on the far side with Dalglish making a great run just inside, number seven. And O'Leary once again. Got his body in the way when it mattered. But Liverpool seem to have found their rhythm quickly. Phil Thompson, number four, on the near post. Dalglish behind him. Ray Kennedy. Oh, Dalglish almost there, and again O'Leary. Sunderland's header. Ricks to Stapleton. A bit too quick, a bit too tight. Neil. Oh, what a good ball, Dalglish. Johnson in the centre. And Jennings to turn it round. And Dalglish, symptomatic of the way Liverpool have started the match. Full of urgency and touch already. Notice that Jennings is wearing gloves, a further sign that there may be a little bit of grease on the surface. Well, that was Talbot's uh, mistimed clearance. 
Let's come back to Sunas. Rice. Sunes, big Brady for that. Johnson ahead, case to the right. Sunes shot. Oh, and Jennings, just for a moment, almost caught by surprise, but able to make the save nonetheless. Stapleton. Price. That's offside against Sunderland in the centre. Scored the winning goal in the FA Cup final, Alan Sunderland. No extra time, by the way, today. If this Charity Shield match is drawn after 90 minutes, the sides hold the trophy for six months each. That's what happened the last time Liverpool Jesus. played in the Charity Shield against Manchester United two years ago. Liverpool making their ninth appearance in this match and Arsenal are making a record tenth appearance in the Charity Shield this afternoon. Neil for Liverpool. Here's Talbot. Sort of space he likes, straight ahead of him. And he's picked out Sammy Nelson on the far side. Arsenal have got four players waiting, and it goes straight to Case. Now, I wonder if Liverpool can exploit the space that Nelson has left. Ricks has dropped back into it. Johnson. David Johnson finished up last season with something like 18 goals in all competitions and this was a player who at one time appeared to be finding it hard to get into the side but he knuckled down and kept his place and he's begun this match with plenty of verve. Brady working hard to push Arsenal forward, it's been mostly Liverpool in the opening quarter of an hour, here's Walford Nelson Brady's got Rice the other way Alan Kennedy came in fast but here's Sunderland well dealt with by Phil Thompson oh and Nelson missing out and McDermott away Dalgleish through the centre, number seven, Walford with him. O'Leary hooking it out. Liverpool looks so smooth when they come forward. Almost as if last season never finished. But here comes Sunderland for Arsenal with Alan Kennedy. Oh, and he's found a way through and missed. Now, Kennedy thought he was fouled there. He wasn't very pleased either with the other defenders, I don't think. But Alan Sunderland got away, and that was a clean scoring chance for Arsenal. So a golden opportunity missed now at either end. Johnson early on for Liverpool, and Sunderland, the cup final match winner, wide for Arsenal. Liverpool again have got plenty of players forward, seven in all. Here's Sunis. Case set that back. Oh, and well struck. Jennings was right in line, but David Johnson is finding a lot of room and has made several important contributions already. Jennings made it look easy, though, the way he caught it. Nelson was again making a for a forward, but the pass gave it little chance. Here's Johnson. Sunes. Dalgleish. 
Ray Kennedy tries to play the one-two and does. Dalglish, oh, good save by Jennings. And you wondered at times in that move just how Dalglish stayed in with a shooting chance. O'Leary was shutting him down, yet somehow, having played the one-two with Ray Kennedy, he still squeezed his shot in and Jennings had to be at his most alert. Alan Kennedy. Ray Kennedy was up and behind him, Johnson came in. And missed a second presentable chance. As Alan Kennedy crossed there, Ray Kennedy brought the defenders in and Johnson, coming in behind him, had the header. The Liverpool bench must be well pleased with the number of chances they've created already. Even the supporters of professionals, as Laurie McMenemy said on Cup Final Day, they've been to Wembley so often. Sunderland came off nicely there. Oh, ball offside. Ricks. Dermot's so busy. So is Delglish. Blocked by Walford. Alan Kennedy. Walford is there again. Alan Kennedy again. Showing there that he's happy to use either foot, the Liverpool fullback. Hit the first one with the left, which Wolf had blocked, and the second one with the right, going just over. Steve Wolford making two timely interceptions in that Liverpool attack. It could also be said that uh, with uh, first half now and its last ten minutes, that. Um, Arsenal have played at a slower pace than Liverpool. It's a very warm afternoon. I wonder if perhaps that might matter in the second half. We shall see. Sunderland to Wilkes. Case one of those floated crosses for O'Leary. Oh, and Clements kept it out somehow from Stapleton. Well, that was a fine save. Stapleton's header throwing himself at the cross from O'Leary, and Clements, having parried, scrambled back and kept the ball out of the goal. redress the balance slightly that's two chances now they've carved out here's Stapleton who had the header Brady Nelson Nelson again Hansen was in the way then Sooners free kick given for the foul Sammy Nelson feeding into the attack very intelligently and not always down the touchline either where we normally see him. He's coming to the inside left position several times. Brady with the kick for Arsenal. That's Price. And at the far post, Sunderland couldn't quite reach it. Price who knocked it back across. an absorbing match because Arsenal have now come back into things in the last five minutes or so but here come Liverpool with McDermott oh I say that's a terrific goal Pat Jennings could do nothing about it and McDermott scores
tremendous virtuosity. He's been making those runs throughout the first half. He was prepared to strike that from way out. Low in the corner, plus Jennings. And Terry McDermott gives Liverpool the lead in the charity shield. A lead they deserve for the way they play, without any doubt at all. Look how pleased he is with the finish. And the fans too, of course. But funnily enough, the goal coming just when Arsenal seemed to be edging their way back into the match. So Liverpool lead 1-0. Six minutes left in the first half. Brady looks for Stapleton. And that's a goal kick. Well, Liverpool scored 84 goals alone in the first division last season. That's their first goal of many, I would think, in all competitions this season. Funnily enough, Liverpool players have won the BBC Goal of the Season for the last three years. McDermott was the winner two years ago. Soon as won it last year and Ray Kennedy this year. Well, a quiet end to what was a really eventful first half. And the main event was a quite tremendous goal with which to start the new season, scored by Terry McDermott after 38 minutes. Rifled the shot in from outside the penalty area. And that just testified how well Liverpool played in the first half. Arsenal created two good chances. But having said that, the sweet football came from Liverpool. One of the big talking points among the crowd inside the stadium at half-time is that fine goal by Terry McDermott. It's a reminder, really, of the fact that Liverpool players have won the BBC's Goal of the Season competition for the last three years in succession. It was Terry McDermott himself who won it two years ago with a lovely chipped goal in the FA Cup semi-final against Everton that you might remember. Then, last year, the winner was Graham Souness with a great shot against Manchester United, and this year's winner, Ray Kennedy, with a glorious goal in the league match at the baseball ground last season for Liverpool against Derby County. Well, fittingly, on this Charity Shield day, before the match, before the players went into change, Jimmy Hill was able to present Ray Kennedy with the silver salver, which goes to the winner of the goal of the season. Well, it's my pleasure to hand over this trophy to Ray Kennedy for the goal that he scored last season, which came out on top of the pile. It was a very fine team goal, but he made an extraordinarily difficult bit of finishing look so simple. So, Ray, here it is on behalf of the BBC. It's my very great pleasure to say congratulations. And well done. And, uh, you know, it really was a marvellous goal. Yeah, well, I think uh, Terry McDermott had on the right. I made my usual run into the box to get behind the defence. Yeah. I realised it wasn't going to make, and uh, the run just continued through when the ball came to us, and uh, the rest was quite uh, quite <laughs> simple. The goalkeeper went down. It was a nice goal to score. For well, a big man, you were very, very delicate, I thought, at that moment. Well, I uh, <laughs> was quite happy it was a right foot as well. Uh, I finished it off, so I was quite happy. Yeah. You've got a fair number of trophies already on your side, but you're going to have to get a new house soon. How many is it? It all started with Arsenal, extraordinary enough, didn't it? That's right, it all started, yeah, yeah. yeah it was a double. Um, beating Liverpool, of course. Yeah. But I think I've got... I've played... Uh, That's three three medals. That's right, yeah. I've played three uh, Wembley finals. Yeah. Uh, two European Cup winners. Yeah. And two UEFA Cup uh, winners. So I've, I've got quite, quite a few, yeah. A few charity shields, so I've been pretty fortunate. It's nice to receive this anyway. Well, That's just one thing that I've not got. Marvellous. Yeah. And let's hope that you get many more medals, but particularly those that uh, come from Europe. <laughs> and as Liverpool prepare to start the second half, leading by that single goal. No substitutes at half-time, so it's as you were. Here's Thompson for Liverpool. Case to Neil. Oh, McDermott on a run again, Tolbert trying to reach him. Oh, and Johnson coming in was just put off by Rice. I think he might actually have pushed him, but uh, again, Liverpool breaking down that right-hand side with McDermott. 
who seems to time those runs so well, the opposition must know what he's about, and yet every time he seems to get a yard ahead. This is O'Leary for Arsenal, still trailing by a goal to nil. Brady. O'Leary was challenged there by Dalgleish, but here's Rice. Stapleton, time to turn. Well, it could be an opportune moment uh, as Frank Stapleton shoots wide. A good effort, that, to mention the man who won't be wearing the Arsenal number no. 9 shirt any longer, the sad retirement from injury of Malcolm McDonald, who I gather didn't come to the match today, but will be sadly missed not just by Arsenal but by football fans everywhere. Without him, Arsenal will... Persevere with the successful Stapleton-Sunderland combination up front. Torbett. Nelson. Brady. Lovely change of pace by Brady. Sunderland. Still Sunderland. Well gathered by Clements. Liverpool knowing that Arsenal were a side last season respected for the way they battled as well as for the way they played, so they can't be complacent about a one-goal lead here. Here's Hansen to Ray Kennedy. Good running again by McDermott. Look at the space he found there. And he's trying to put Dalgleish in. It wasn't one of his better finishes, but it was a typical Liverpool move, that, in every sense. McDermott finding room again, making space for himself, and then playing Dalgleish into one of his favourite positions, just to his feet, inside the penalty area, moving towards near post. Many a defender has been made to look silly in that position by the Liverpool number seven. Soonest knocked on by Dalgleish for McDermott. Oh, McDermott's in! And, well, Brian Torbett will be relieved. As the two of them chased in there, Torbett lost his bearings, rather. McDermott was in for a shot, but it wasn't a very powerful one, and Jennings, anyway, had made the ground and was breathing down his neck. Sunderland, Stapleton, Hansen for Liverpool. Look at that adroit skill on the ball by Alan Hansen. Deserves the applause. And McDermott's dummy was a lovely one too. Left the Arsenal player riding on the ground, and here comes Jimmy Case. What a move this is. Until then. Pity the finish wasn't there. It was a super move by Liverpool, but an Arsenal player, I think it's Nelson, is still stretched out in the other half of the field. Here's McDermott to Souness. And again, Souness. Case. Thompson. Alan Kennedy. Ray Kennedy. Alan Kennedy. Oh! All you can do is watch and admire. And that's frankly all Arsenal could do there as well. Oh, there's some bare torsos in the crowd today. The sun's still beating down on Wembley, making it look rather like a cricket crowd at Lords. And the Arsenal substitute will be Willie Young, who wasn't selected because he's been suffering from a slight uh, 
chest muscle injury during the week. But he's certainly preparing anyway, if needed, to replace a very stunned Sammy Nelson. I think maybe they'll just have a look at Nelson first before deciding whether to bring Young on or whether he can go back himself. So for the moment, Arsenal are down to ten men. Free kick to Arsenal, fouled by Thompson. Wouldn't surprise me if the pace of the game drops in the second half because it's so warm. Here's Brady. Oh, well played, Talbot. Ray Kennedy back in defence, and so was Sooners. Poor ball from him, though, and Liverpool in the end won it by sheer weight of numbers. Alan Hansen, Johnson, Alan Kennedy. And three players making a run from a deep position. O'Leary's got to get this, he hasn't. It's McDermott, who tried the most <laughs> unique of lobs because... He only had a split second to decide what to do. Jennings was off his line. And Willie Young comes on as the Arsenal substitute to replace Sammy Nelson. And I rather think that means Steve Walford will switch to left back and allow Young to go into his normal position at the heart of the defence. Sammy Nelson still not quite sure where he is after that unfortunate fall. Arsenal can break here with Ricks, can they? Not much support up front, only Sunderland, and he was beaten by Hansen. Who comes all the way and finds Delglish, who's onside. And that is absolutely outstanding finishing by the Footballer of the Year, Kenny Delglish. What a goal. was absolutely world-class. Alan Hansen from defence made it possible by keeping cool and bringing the ball through himself, defeating any attempt to play the offside game. Fed Dalglish, who went on, made a real monkey out of poor Walford, who he left on his backside, and then the clinical finish past Pat Jennings. Arsenal nil, Liverpool two. And Dalglish putting a marvellous goal alongside the one that McDermott scored earlier. There might have been a slight question mark about offside, but certainly Dalglish wasn't waiting for a flag. Brady, he knew exactly what he was going to do. Arsenal want to make a second substitution and John Hollins comes on for his first appearance for his new club in this country. David Price is the man going off. John Hollins, who's spent his career with London clubs, Chelsea and Queen's Park Rangers, now Arsenal. Hansen, though, for Liverpool, who are dictating the match. Case. This man, Dalglish, he's been with Liverpool two seasons in which he scored 55 goals. And he started this season exactly as he finished last. Quite the most exciting player, I would think, to come out of Scotland for a very long time. at Wembley are by no means impregnable after what happened in the cup final but Arsenal let it be said are going to have to produce something quite out of the ordinary now 
they're going to get this match back out of Liverpool's grasp because Liverpool are doing everything right. Johnson. Dalglish. Oh, it's come to McDermott. It's three. This is absolutely magnificent stuff from Liverpool. You could say it started with an error by Liam Brady, the way the move built up. But Liverpool punished it in the only way they know how. Finally, when the ball came to McDermott, he put it underneath Pat Jennings' body. But again, the build-up was devastating and the finish absolutely precise. The Arsenal end is silenced by Terry McDermott, who scores his second goal of the match. And Liverpool now have turned the charity shield into an exhibition. And at the moment, it's a devastating one. Again, Dalglish involved in the move. Alan Hansen enjoying himself as much as anybody coming out of defence. There he is again. Dalglish is back there as well. What a team performance this is becoming by Liverpool. Terry McDermott now is on a hat-trick and there hasn't been one of those in the Charity Shield since 1954 when Ronnie Allen scored one for West Albion against Wolves. Liverpool fans have enjoyed this second-half performance particularly. Here's Brady. Stapleton giving it back to him. Hansen across and Brady could get one back here and what a save by the England goalkeeper. Even when Arsenal did threaten and Brady beat three players, struck the ball well with his left foot, Ray Clements, right on his game, his concentration sharp, turned the ball round. Ricks, Young goes in, here's Hollins, he slipped, as Brady, Arsenal threatening to get one back, but the poor pass from Brady only sets up McDermott. Sunis, Dalglish. There's a colossal confidence about Liverpool that makes you almost frightened about the season to come. Well, plays. he doesn't like his team being talked about as favourites, but what else can you say when they play like this? And they still want more. Look at Joe Fagan. Stapleton. To Brady. Sunderland. Ricks wanting it out on the right wing where he spent most of the second half. Brady's in there again. That's O'Leary's cross, Hansen in the way. Lovely exchange of passes out of defence by Liverpool. Soon as to Johnson, and the others are making ground on this near side. Now McDermott's up there, slipping for a hat-trick. Still Johnson. It's going to come to Graham Souness, and Jennings got a hand to it, otherwise it was four. Arsenal were taken apart again, and Souness, well, it was almost like a practice game the time he had to line his shot up, but Pat Jennings, professional to the last, even at three down, got his right hand out and turned it round. Brian Talbot throws the shin pads away, a hot day and the pace perhaps telling now on one or two players. Well, he can try again with that corner, Jimmy Case.
Neil. And it was uh, John Hollins, corner again. Taken quickly and short. Neil. Alan Kennedy's shot. Hollins in the way. And now a break for Ricks. And Alan Kennedy, who had that shot at goal, was the player in the way when Arsenal tried to counter-attack. That's a sign of the Liverpool fitness. Walford. Thompson to Neil. Even in defence, they get applause. England players combining. is a common place at Anfield, but here's another one going to Liverpool today, the FA Charity Shield. But here's Sunderland looking for a late consolation for us. Stapleton, now perhaps Sunderland can get one, and he does. And a great roar of relief from the Arsenal end of the stadium, because at least that goal has made the journey worthwhile. Sunderland the scorer taking the return pass from Stapleton and a good finish but he might well be wondering what would have happened had he scored early in the match when he was clean through because as the Arsenal bench know only too well that goal is a mere crumb of comfort coming just three or four minutes from the end So a late flourish here from Arsenal. This is David O'Leary. Brady. Now, can they stretch Liverpool again here? They can, and Stapleton is in there with a header which should all, honestly, have made it 3-2. It was a good cross, that, by Ricks, driven in, and Stapleton had a free header which he put straight at Ray Clements. Sun still shining brightly in the eyes of the players. That was O'Leary jumping with Johnson. That was Willie Young. Neil. Sunis finding case. Now Liverpool have got uh, three in the centre waiting for a cross. Johnson's at the far post with the header back. Away by Rice. It's going to come to Phil Thompson. Brady was there first. But it did come to Ray Kennedy and now to Neil. case Ray Kennedy sneaking up on the far side Dalglish is in on the near post in front of Rice but I think Liverpool's touch has deserted them at last in the last few minutes with the game safely in their grasp haven't needed to play with quite the uh, fierceness that they showed us earlier This was the FA Charity Shield, but despite the handshakes, there was precious little charity shown by the Football League champions Liverpool.
They took the match over in the first half hour, just had the one goal to show for it at half time, but in the second half, they were absolutely devastating in patches. Dominating the match with their fine teamwork, putting to it some clinical finishing. Dalgleish scored one, McDermott scored two, and Arsenal got a late consolation through Alan Sunderland. But if this is any guide, and maybe it's too early to draw too many conclusions about the new season, Liverpool, as we expected, will be every bit as formidable in the months that lie ahead, because they seem to have snapped neatly back into that well-rehearsed rhythm almost at once. So much to admire about their performance, and Arsenal today were second best, and at times completely outclassed. Liverpool three, Arsenal one, and it's Phil Thompson his first day at Wembley as Liverpool captain, who will lead the side up to receive their mementos. Phil Thompson, who was born in Liverpool, his family still live in Kirby, and he was a supporter on the cop as a kid, where his brother still stands, in fact, to watch all the matches. A Liverpool boy at heart, and a proud moment for him. It may only be the charity shield, but it's a sign of things to come, surely, for the new season to see Liverpool going forward to receive a trophy. Stan Cullis, formerly the very successful manager of the great Wolverhampton Wanderers side in the 50s, presents the charity shield to Phil Thompson of Liverpool. Thompson's gesture to the supporters seems to say there's more to come after this.